The Corgi is a famously royal pup that has plenty of energy, is highly intelligent and has so much love for their human companions. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all that you need to know about grooming your puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Corgi Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Corgi and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Corgi. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Corgi video. So let's jump right into today's video and we'll find out all you need to know about grooming the wonderful corgi. The Pembroke Welsh corgi weighs no more than 30 pounds and stand between 10 to 12 inches at the shoulders. Corgis have a remarkable double coat which includes a thick undercoat and a long top coat. Their colouring can differ and you can find corgis in red, sable, black, tricoloured or fawn, usually always with white markings. The corgi is a very heavy shedder. They shed all year long with a higher amount seasonally twice a year. They're easy to groom but will need regular brushing to control the shedding. You should brush your corgi every week to remove any loose hairs and any dirt to encourage new hair growth. This will help to reduce the amount of hair that finds its way onto your clothes and furniture. If your corgi develops any mats behind the ears or on the thighs, spray a detangling solution on the area to then gently work out the knot with your fingers or a comb. Regularly brushing your corgi means that you don't necessarily need to bath them as much. They won't need more than three or four baths a year and it's important to be aware that actually more frequent baths will remove the essential oils from their coat and their skin which can make them dry and flaky. This could lead to itching and irritation of the skin which can develop further into serious skin conditions. You should brush your dog's teeth at least two to three times a week to remove any dirt and tartar buildup and any bacteria that could cause illness or infection. Daily brushing will prevent gum disease and bad breath. You can also introduce your dog to dentist sticks which are a great way to keep their mouth and teeth healthy and clean. If your dog doesn't naturally wear down their nails then you will need to trim them once or twice a month to prevent any painful tears or other issues. If you hear them clicking on the floor then they are too long. If you're not an experienced person in trimming dog's nails then it's good to ask your vet or groomer for pointers as a dog's nails actually have blood vessels in them. So if you cut them too far you can cause bleeding which can cause bleeding which could become a very negative experience for your dog. Be sure to check your dog's ears weekly for any redness or bad odour which may indicate an infection. When you check their ears be sure to wipe them with a cotton wool ball dampened with a gentle pH balanced ear cleaner to help in preventing any infections. It's important that you don't insert anything into their ear canal and just clean the outer ear as this could damage the ears or cause infection. In order for your dog to be used to being brushed and examined, you should start this throughout puppyhood. The best way to do this is to handle their paws frequently and look inside their mouth. As you groom them, be sure to check for any sores, rashes or infection signs like redness, inflammation or tenderness. This helps to spot any potential health conditions early on. Grooming and regular checkups will help your dog to see it as a positive experience and to not fear any veterinary exams when they're an adult dog. Fill the time with a lot of treat and praise and they will see it as a much more positive experience. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe we have three dedicated corgi videos coming here every single week so i can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the fenrir corgi show